Let's find the molar mass for acetic anhydride. So there are two ways we could write the molecular formula, like this or like this. What both of them are showing us that we have one, two, three, four carbons, and then there'd be hydrogens here, six hydrogens, and then one, two, three oxygens. So they're showing us the same thing, same number of atoms in each molecular formula. This one has a little more information. This oxygen here is showing us that we have an oxygen here, and then we have two of these groups here. So either way, same thing, just written a little different. Let's use this one here to find the molar mass for acetic anhydride. So we go to the periodic table. Right here is carbon, 12.01. The units are grams per mole. Let's not write those now. We'll write those at the end. Four carbon atoms. So we multiply that by four. Hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole. And we have six hydrogen atoms. Finally, oxygen, 16.00 grams per mole, and we multiply that times three. So what we'll do is we multiply each of these, and then we add them all together. We end up with 102.10, and the units are grams per mole. My periodic table rounds to two decimal places. If your periodic table rounds differently, you might get a slightly different answer. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for C4H6O3 acetic anhydride. Thanks for watching.